Right, let's carry on with the lesson, shall we? So, we are going to be drawing an array to represent five multiplied by three. Now, you can either draw this on a piece of paper, or if you have some objects, you can make it. You maybe have some sweets or some pasta or some counters, whatever you would like to use. And I would like to pause the video and draw an array to represent five multiplied by three. Okay, did your array look anything like this? So there are five columns with three in each row. Oh, sorry, five columns with three in each column. So that would be five multiplied by three because there are five columns with three in each. Now, that's not the only way we can draw this. We can also draw this like this. So this time we've got five rows and there are three in each row. So again, it'd be five multiplied by three. Fantastic. Well done if you got that right. That was quite tricky. Now, we want to know how many different arrays can we build with 16 counters? So again, with your pasta, or your drawings, or your sweets, or your counters, can you have a go and see how many different arrays you can build with 16 counters? OK, off you go. OK, so let's see how you, what, how you got on. Now, our first one we could have is this. So we could have one row with 16 counters. What about if we had two rows? How, how many would we have in each? Here we go, so there's our number sentences, one multiplied by 16 or 16 multiplied by one. Now, this time we've got two rows and we have got eight in each row. So what will our multiplication number sentences be this time? Yes, it'd be two multiplied by eight, because we've got two rows with eight in each, or eight multiplied by two, because we've got eight columns with two in each. Now, can we make an array with three rows if we have 16 columns, um, if we have 16 counters? No, we can't, can we? Because 16 is not an odd number, it's an even number. So we'd have one on the side like that. And we can't have that because we need the same amount in each row and in each. So we cannot do three multiplied by something. That's about four multiplied by something. Well, yes, we can. And here we go. We've got four rows with four in each, and we've got four columns with four in each. So our multiplication, because obviously we can't change the numbers around, would be four multiplied by four. Okay. Well done if you got that right. Fantastic. Now, let's look back at the question we've just done. So we had 16 multiplied by one, then we had eight multiplied by two, then we had four multiplied by four. Now, can you see a pattern here? Pause the video and have a little think. OK, let's have a look. So if we half 16, we get eight. So half 16 is eight. And if we double one, we get two. OK, so let's have a look at this with our counters. So here's our array, which tells us 16 times one, because we have 16 columns and there's one in each. Now, if we half this, so we split the counters in half right in the middle and we move them to the bottom. So instead of this last time having one row, we're going to have two rows. There we go. We have our eight multiplied by two because we have eight columns with two counters in each. Now let's do that again. So let's half eight and we get four and double two and we'll get four as well. So again, let's split it in the middle, right in the middle and then move the rows on the right underneath. Oh no, they're taking the left ones underneath. So this time, We've got four multiplied by four because we've got four rows with four in each and we've got four columns with four in each. Now, what do you see? And we've got four children here. The first girl says she can say see two multiplied by six. The second, uh, oh, the boy this time says he can see six multiplied by two. The other girl says she can see three multiplied by four and four multiplied by three. And the last girl says she can see one twelve and twelve ones. So pause the video now and see if you can work out who's correct, okay? There might be more than one correct. Okay, let's see if you're right. So the first girl says I can see two multiplied by six. Well, yes, we can because we have 
two, two rows and they have six in each. So she's correct. What about the boy? So he says he can see six multipl multiplied by two. So let's have a look. Well, yes, we can because we have six columns and there are two counters in each. So well done, they've both got it right so far. Let's see if the third girl can get it right. She thinks she can see three multiplied by four and four multiplied by three. Now she's used commutative law, hasn't she? And changed the numbers around. Let's have a look if she was right. Oh, there we go. So you can do three multiplied by four because here we can see three groups of four counters. So if we can do three multiplied by four, let's see if we can do four multiplied by three. There we go. Yes, we can. We have got four equal groups of three counters. So well done. They've all got it right up to now. The last girl, I see one 12 and 12 once. What do you think? Well, yes, you can, can't you? Because altogether, the array is one 12. And then each counter, how many counters are there? Well, there are 12. So there are 12 counters so there are 12 ones because each counter is one isn't it so well done children you've all got it correct now what i'd like you to do now is have a go at the rest of the questions on your worksheet and when you finish those on resource one i'd like you to come back to the video okay okay should we carry on so we have got a reasoning question here like we do in most lessons and it says use the array to find the odd one out so a is six lots of four B is four times or multiplied by seven, and C is six multiplied by four. So pause the video now and have a think. Which one is the odd one out? Okay, let's see if you are correct. So how many columns have we got? Yes, that's right. We've got six columns, and how many in each column? Well, we've got four in each column. So there you go, six lots of four. We can say that because we've got six columns with four in each. Now B, four multiplied by seven. Well, I've just said that we've got six columns, haven't we? How many rows have we got? We've got four rows, one, two, three, four. How many in each row? We've got six, so we've got four rows with six in each. So can we do B? No, we can't, can we? Because it would have to be four multiplied by six because there are four rows with six in each. Now C, six multiplied by four. Well, yes, we've got six columns and there's four in each. So we've got six groups of four. So six multiplied by four. There you go. So B is the odd one out because the array does not show four multiplied by seven. Okay, next reasoning question. Tobias is making an array. He says, my array shows two lots of seven and seven lots of two. OK, pause the video and have a think. Is he correct? OK, should we see if you're right? So how many rows does he have? Well, he has two rows and how many are in each row? There are eight, aren't they? So can he say two lots of seven? So two multiplied by seven? No, he'd have to say two multiplied by eight, wouldn't he? Now let's try it the other way around. How many columns has he got? Yes, he's got eight and how many in each? Two. So he'd have to say eight multiplied by two, not seven lots of two, so seven multiplied by two. So we can say Tobias is correct because his array shows two lots of eight and eight lots of two. Now, now what I'd like you to do now, you finish the first worksheet, resource one. On the second worksheet, resource two, so year two um, maths, 13th of January, resource two, there are some reasoning questions, a little bit like the ones that we've just done together. Now, there are two lots of questions. There are two questions with a blue star and two questions with an orange star. Now, the blue ones are slightly easier and the orange ones are more challenging. So you either need to complete the blue ones or the orange ones. Don't complete both, OK? And you decide whatever you'd like to do. Would you like to do the slightly easier ones or the slightly more challenging ones, okay? So you decide. Now, if you're doing the more challenging ones, you need to think how you can use an array to work out another array. 
So for example, if you have two multiplied by four, can you create, can you then work out from that array two multiplied by four, what four multiplied by four is? Because you'd have to just double the amount of rows, okay? So you need to think about that if you're doing the slightly more challenging ones. Brilliant. So go and have a go at those reasoning questions. And when you're finished, can you send me the two worksheets or send them to the office? And I'll be very impressed to see all your work, okay? Brilliant. Have a lovely rest of your day, Yeti. Bye.